Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the weekly general reading for the Capricorn. So this is going to be um, starting the week off today and then ending um, May the 16th, 2016. Um, this is going to be about letting go of the past. Um, sometimes a painful past, it can be a past life, it can be a past situation, um, maybe getting rid of old habits, you know, old he eating habits, you know. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, this is a five card spread. And I'm going to be looking at what you want to throw away, which is card number one. Um, what is blocking you? what action you need to take, what you need to avoid, and what you need to accept. Okay. You know, I've gotten, hmm, okay, Capricorn. So card number one is what you want to throw away, and you got temperance. So I would say temperance is showing up to tell you to um, to be patient. Um, I've been seeing this card show up in a lot of these readings. I think that temperance uh, wants you to, um, you know, discard some of the imbalances that you have. And I think that uh, temperance wants you to be more patient, okay? Um, that's what temperance is all about. You know, it's not just about them. It's about you and working on self and self-growth. So there's a lot of major things happening this week for you to start off. Um, what's blocking you is the judgment card. So this is so very obvious. The judgment card shows that you jump to conclusions way too fast. You judge people unfairly. You need to give people a fair chance. Is what this card is saying. So this is blocking you. And, you know, temperance is, is next to it. And she's saying, you know, you need to throw out that old way of thinking, feeling, and just your whole spiritual aura. So she's really suggesting a cleansing. But temperance, I'm sorry, not temperance, judgment coming up in position number two shows that you jump into conclusions is blocking you from whatever. So it could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be whatever, you know, um, a financial opportunity. You know, you're making judgments too quickly. Um, card number three is how you want to proceed. And you got the Ten of Wands. So um, this is overcoming. This is The Ten is a very good number. It's a number of completion of a cycle. And it always ends with one. You know, one plus zero is one. So you have a burden that you're carrying. But you need to be strong enough to carry that burden. So the burden is going to be there, but you just have to be strong enough to carry it. And you have to believe in yourself that you can. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then you won't be able to. That's what the wand suit is about. It's all about self-discovery. Um, card number four, what to avoid. I keep getting people. There's so many people affecting other people. Knight of Cups. You want to avoid someone might be around your age, might be younger. Um, King of Cups is someone that's going to come and make offers. They're emotional. They're like a knight in shining armor. So there's going to be some sort of offer that you're going to be made. You want to avoid it this week. You want to stay away from it. Now, it might go beyond that, you know, but at least for this week, that's what you want to stay away from. Um... Card number five is what you need to accept and embrace. And you got the King of Swords. So this is another literal person because it's a core card. It can mean you. 
it can mean another person so this whoever this king of swords is that's coming through the reading um what you want to accept is that um with with excuse me with the king of swords he's got mild conflicts this is someone that you need to accept for who they are that's what the king of swords mean when you're dealing with the king of swords this is someone that rules with the iron fist a lot like the emperor but you ex you are going to have to accept that you have to accept people for who they are and stop taking everything so personally so your final card definitely goes with the judgment card which it, it came up twice okay um, that's going to conclude this reading. I hope that, that it helps someone. Um, you can definitely come to me for a personalized reading. The link is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment. Have a great week. Bye.